All right, so far, I don't know what in the world that was. You probably didn't hear that, but I heard it. And it I don't know. Um, so far, these are the fails. Complete failures. I may have gotten one or two plants to sprout out of all the seeds in the pack. I have did four successive plantings. Uh, we've got nothing out of them. Uh, I may have got, like I said, I may have gotten one or two to sprout out of uh, all the seeds, out of four successive plantings, and I got nothing. Um, we'll see what comes out of this. I will update you, of course, as if something sprouts and we start getting something grown. I'll update you, but these are the varieties that never took. And we'll show you the seed companies and explain a little bit about what I can. I'll talk about it some, okay? So, let you see them for yourself. All right. These are the ones that are complete failures probably can't read that one I'll, I'll know which ones they are when I see the video I'll look at it I'll review it but so far those are the ones that are dead so keep that in mind and keep in mind the seed companies that I bought them from and uh, when you go to purchase your seeds maybe you could call them and talk to them and tell them you don't want old seeds or something like that I don't know I don't know what to say out of 100 uh, seed varieties I bought, this is the amount that was an absolute failure. So we'll see what companies these are, and we'll look at them in detail. So that's it. It's hot, guys. All right, let's go over in, in a little bit more detail on exactly what didn't sprout and the seeds I got them from and everything else. Now, this just to make this very clear for everybody, this isn't going to necessarily be a bashing video. Uh, I'm not going to bash the seed company for sending me unviable seeds. But at the same time, uh, there is one company in here that I will make a note on towards the end of the video. On my uh, dislikes of uh, some, of the, some of the aspects of the company. So don't take this as a bashing video to the seed company I obviously got some seeds that were unviable it does happen um, it could have been from the heat from the mail but I believe I ordered these seeds as you can see 9 26 2015 that's when I ordered them so I probably got them in in October which is usually a cooler month so it's not going to be the heat from the summer baking the seeds through the package when the post office takes your seed packages and they leave them in those little push carts out in the sun for about three hours destroying lowering the germination rate from about 85 percent to about 50 percent so that take that into consideration when you're ordering your seeds in the summer is is the heat that uh, they're going to be exposed with all right so the first runner-up is oh let me turn on a light here for you first runner-up for the first fail is the pepper devil's yellow now I don't know if this is a yellow devil's tongue I don't believe it is because if you look at the picture on the package they gave me on the package here all right it looks quite different than the image on their website okay so I don't know what we're getting I don't know are you getting this are you getting that are we getting a real devil's yellow pepper? I have no idea. But in either case, these seeds were DOA. I don't believe, if I remember correctly, I don't believe I even got one sprout out of them. They were just a dead pack of seeds, guys. Now, I only paid 99 cents for it. Not a big deal. I might actually order these again. I'm going to wait for new stock. And before I actually reorder from this company... And I'll check their inventory, see if there's something else I might want to buy and make a couple of... I, I'm going to contact them ahead of time, and I'm going to ask them and tell them about the situation I had, and ask them to make sure that the seeds they're selling me are viable seeds, and I want the seeds to possibly be marked when they were harvested. If they're in a fall, hopefully I'm getting fall year-end seeds. That's why I like... That's another one of the reasons why I like to order my seeds this time of the year, because usually you're getting fresh seeds that are picked 
from the fruits that have been ripened at the end of the year and you're getting the most viable seeds. Plus it's being shipped in cool weather and some other factors. That's why I like to order my seeds late in the year. Some people tell you not to do that because the seed companies are selling you last year's stock. And that might be true in some cases. But they should, by rights, be selling you the latest seeds at the end of that year instead of moving out old, tired, old seeds from old stock. Who knows? I know I have best luck time of the year for me is to order this time of the year. I usually get a great germination rate out of most of my seeds. So, this is the first runners up. Okay, I only paid 99 cents. Is it a devil's yellow? Is it a yellow's devil's tongue? I have no idea. I never heard of devil's yellow. If anybody knows what that is or what genus it is, uh, please, uh, you know, comment below and inform me because this is what they're advertising on their website, okay, as a devil's yellow, okay, and on their, on the image of their package, uh, hopefully you can see that. The image of their package looks quite different from a, this type of pepper. So I don't know what I'm getting for my money. It says a capsaicin chianti. It says AKA Devil's Tongue. So, oh, there it is. I guess it's on their website. So if you're going to buy a Devil's Yellow, it's actually called a Devil's Yellow Tongue. It's just creative marketing to rename the pepper as a Devil's Yellow. Because you don't think you have that one when you check your 300 seed inventory and you buy it again. So, keep in mind, uh, that's called also known as a, uh, uh, a, a devil's tongue yellow. It's the yellow version. There's the red, there's the yellow. I usually buy, try to buy all the colors when I buy one pepper. Uh, because you can actually get into crossing those over and might come up with something different. Sometimes you get a mix Anyway, there's the details on it, guys. This was a fail. Sorry. I tried. I did my best. I did several successive plantings in several different uh, climates and conditions. No sprouts. It was completely DOA. So, uh, we will maybe try again next year, and I'll try from a different seed company, and hopefully I'll have better luck with the uh, Devil's Yellow, or AKA Yellow Devil's Tongue. All right, the next runner-up, we got the infamous Red Hot Cherry Pepper. This one should be good. Oh, man, I can't believe seeds now. I can't believe they actually sent me dead seed for the Red Hot Cherry Pepper. Come on, these are seeds. You can almost buy these in the store and grow them yourself. I decided to give the business to the seed company. And I get dead seeds. I mean, we're talking no sprouts, guys. Not even one. I remember this company. I remember specifically starting these in January. Nothing. I started them indoors. Then I replanted them again in spring outdoors. And then I replanted them again to see if they would go. And then I just did the final uh, replanting, which you see in the, er in the earlier part of the video. And so far, there's nothing. And most likely, there's going to be nothing. Okay, so I'm not expecting any of those peppers to come up. If they do, I will most certainly make an update to this video, and I will link you over to it so you can see the update of an actual sprout coming up. But as of right now, they are DOA, guys. Seeds now. I'm sorry to do this to you guys, but wasn't happy. All right, so anyway, I paid 99 cents. Not a big deal. I'm going to rebuy them. I'm going to buy them from somebody else because Seeds Now may send me another batch of the old dead seeds. I can't take that chance, guys. We're doing reviews here. We want peppers. We don't want to waste our time for eight months trying to sprout seeds that are DOA. Okay, Scoville units. There's all your thing. We don't know what it is. This is all the information on the site. We don't know nothing about it. All right? It's a sample pack, guys. It was only 99 cents. I'm not going to sweat bullets on it, but I am certainly not going to buy these seeds again from Seeds Now because I absolutely did not have any luck with germination. And these seeds were basically planted in January, and I bought them here, so they were dead. It's not like they sat in, in, in the seed bin for a year or two years. I mean, I basically planted them relatively soon after I got them. I mean... Seeds just don't die in a couple of months unless you boil them in the oven, but my seeds get put into a 
uh, into, into a container that's sealed airtight and they get put in the plastic bags in that container and then I bring them down into my uh, basement which is approximately 60 degrees on a regular humidity is roughly around 65 percent something like that um, even though they're not exposed to the humidity everything the climate is extremely stable in the basement I've had tomato seeds sprout from keeping them down here I don't know seven years eight years ten years they last forever when you keep them in your in a cool uh, steady environment so unfortunately I can't give these guys a good review because the seeds were dead on this particular one so again it's not a bash on seeds now they got great deals 99 cent sample packs you can't go wrong but me personally I will not be buying the red hot cherry pepper seeds from seeds now that's over I'm going to another place I don't care if I pay three four five dollars I don't care I'm gonna grow that pepper but it ain't, they ain't gonna get the business on that pepper they lost it because they're not checking their seeds or sending you out dead seeds not a good thing guys all right so let's see what the next runner-up is all right here's one of the ones that I will be talking a little bit about the company that I'm a little bit dissatisfied with uh, not a hundred percent but I will share my experience with them anyway here's the seed pack empty guys every seed has been planted four successive plantings no sprouts I may have gotten one sprout out of this may have maybe and it may have died out of the um, the multiple plantings it may have died during the uh, burn off during when I was hardening it off in it but I can't guarantee you that I remember specifically out of the 80 90 peppers I'm growing out there I remember specifically about eight or nine which is what you're looking at never gave me any seeds so I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt maybe one sprouted all right so that's where that stands okay I paid three dollars for the seeds guys three bucks I only got ten seeds according to the package and I did four successive plantings basically with these seeds all right zilch okay Zilcho, three dollars in the garbage, guys. Never again. I will not be buying from this company again, guys. There's other things about what the seeds they're selling that I was not happy with, and I I will talk about that at the end of the video. Um, that's the information. And uh, yeah, we will not be buying these guys' seeds again. I put hybrid in there because I don't know. I read somewhere it was a hybrid. So little disappointed with seed man on uh, a few different levels um, but yeah this was DOA guys no sprouts no nothing four successive plantings four different environmental conditions four different temperatures four different humidity factors with sunlight without sunlight I've done it all and I did not get any to sprout and believe me when I tell you I can get most some of the most difficult seeds to sprout I have sprouted everything from coffee to uh, cocoa beans to uh, palm trees to everything. I, I The only thing I didn't do with these was uh, use the gabrielic acid on them. I didn't have enough seeds for me to get that one last step because they only gave me 10 seeds for $3. It was a waste of money, guys. Don't buy them. You see this seed anywhere else. Look up Goliath Bell. I don't recommend buying these seeds from that company, especially within the next two or three years, because you'll probably get the same dead seeds. All right, so let's look at the next runner-up. Pepperoncino. I ended up with two pepperoncini, pepperoncinis, and the one of the most important peppers I really wanted to grow was the pepperoncino, and guess who it came from? The Seed Man. Hey, another one. He's striking two. He's batting two out of a hundred there. All right, so here's the seeds, guys. This is the pack. Seedman.com. All right, Pepperoncino. No dates on here, guys. You see this kind of stuff? Don't buy your seeds that ain't dated. Pay a little bit more money. Deal with a company that dates and logs the seeds. You don't know what this guy's putting in this package. These seeds could be 10 years old for all you know. You know, pepper seeds can live quite a long time in the, in the right environment. You can 
um, store that was pepper seed for several years and re keep selling out of that batch, you should be doing a, a test crop out of each one of your batches and then uh, make the seed a germination rate out of it. So in other words, I, I would like if I was saving these seeds, I would take uh, either 10 or 100 seeds, depending on how much I actually have. If I got a pound of seeds and I would do a 100 seed planting out of each batch, dated and yeared and all that stuff, and I would, out of 100, see how many come up. I would count, control, <coughs> and see what the actual germination is. So I could give you an accurate uh, germination rate. He's saying 81%, right guys? Not. All right, so that's the seed man. That's the second one by the seed man. You know what they say about strike three, right? So I only paid two fifteen for it. That's two fifteen. I could have went to seeds now and got two more different pepper varieties for the same price. You know, I, I just it's a it's a it's a uncomfortable feeling when a professional seed company sells you seeds and they're not viable seeds, and and yet I can't even trade seeds with my neighbor. But they could sell me seeds that ain't viable, maybe three years old, four years old. Nobody's testing that. Nobody's controlling. But here, I, a consumer like me buys these seeds for two fifteen. That's two fifteen. He's saying, "I don't care. That's not my two fifteen. That's yours. What's a big deal? It's only two fifteen. That's my sweat and blood that bought those seeds. And you want to know something? They're all dead. I got nothing out of them, guys. Not happy about that. That's strike two for uh, Seed Man. All right, I'll show you the seeds." Scoville units, the whole nine, not, nah, ain't happening, guys. Ain't happening. I'm going to have to go to another company to buy my seeds now. I might have to pay a little more, but I'll tell you what. That's strike two right there for this company. All right, let's go up to the next runner-up, which is the next set of dead seeds that I got. The balloon pepper. Oh, no. It's Seed Man again. Another dead pack of seeds. Look at this. Nothing in there. Four successive plantings. Four different environmental conditions. Done everything but Gabrielic acid. And you want to know what I got out of it? I got absolutely zero. <laughs> absolutely none from the seed man. Again, that's strike three, guys. You know what strike, strike three means? That means you don't go back to that company again. You never buy seed from because they're selling you garbage. You might get good luck. You're, you're gambling. You're buying your seed from them and you're gambling. You might get something that sprouts or you might throw your money in the garbage. I can't justify $3 anymore. I didn't even get one thing to sprout out of there, guys. That's garbage. I do better on seed exchanges. I'm, I'm, uh, what's the name of that uh, pepper company? Uh, pepper Lovers. No, it ain't Pepper Lovers. Uh, Chiliman.com. You do your seed exchange. I do better from... Doing seed exchanges, then throwing my hard-earned money in the garbage. Ah, that's nice. Nice, guys. That's a great way to secure your customers. And oh my God, look at that. I threw $3 in the garbage for 10 seeds. I had to do four successive plantings to get one plant. And I didn't even get one plant out of these. These were DOA right from the start. I should have called them right out the gate and said, they were dead. Now I want my money back. I never get my money back. Now he... he he wouldn't even answer the phone if he seen my my phone number come up, because he'd probably look up my order really quick. That phone number associated with that with that order, he'd be like, "Oh, I sold him all these garbage seeds that I had sitting in here for five years." <laughs> He's one of the suckers. <laughs> Anyways, balloon pepper, no hap, not happening this year, guys. It was DOA. This was supposed to be one of the peppers I was going to review this year and grow. Not happening. This is going to be next year. I'm going to be getting my seeds. Not from them. That for damn sure. Three dollars. Not gonna get it for three dollars either. I might try to do seed exchange on uh, the chiliman.com and get my seeds that way and trade them out because I I can't eat that whole cost. I mean it's only three dollars, guys. But you add that up times a hundred, two hundred different varieties of seeds you're buying every year, like I do, and that starts to get a little bit expensive. And so these are the reasons why I'm doing these videos is so you can see what you're gonna get and what you're not going to get, and who you're getting it from, all right? So that's strike three for Seed Man. That tells me I ain't playing ball with him anymore. Let's go to the next one. What do we got here? Habanero Lemon. Ah, oh, that's strike three. That's strike three for Seeds Now. 
But I'll tell you what, you know, these people are pretty good, and I'm going to tell you why. I mean, first of all, I only paid a dollar to sample pack. All right, it was dead. You know, I may even be able to call them up and say I ha didn't have a, a, a um, successful planting with what and what seeds, and I could even send them the links to my videos, let them watch these videos. And um, uh, they would probably just replace the seeds, more than likely. They're a newer company. Uh, when I first started buying seed from them, I did several orders uh, from them on different seeds. Like I would order my cabbages and my and my kales. I would do them as I was going through my inventory, and I would land on this site all the time. Make and I gave them a lot of business, but um, they'd probably cover the seeds. I don't care for a dollar. I mean, I'm not worried about it, guys. I mean, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it, three dollars. That's different. That kind of bothers me a little bit because. Ten seeds, three dollars, no sprouts. I don't know. I'm not feeling that too much. Dollar, no seeds. I mean, a uh, dollar, no sprout. How many seeds did they give me? They gave me ten seed for a dollar. I think I actually got more than ten seeds in there. I mean, seed Man was right on the money. Seed Man was, if not a seed shy, he was exactly ten seeds. There was absolutely nothing extra with him. None. Seed, uh, now, a lot of times with them is you will get uh, two or three seeds extra. A lot of times you'll find that with them so I had no luck with them I'm not going to say that I won't do business with them I mean for 99 cents guys you really can't argue with that like I say you could probably call them and tell them your dilemma and they'll probably cover those seeds if you know you call them and let them know but um, yeah unfortunately this is strike three for uh, seeds now and I will give them a, uh, a a strike four if that was to be the case and so far I I can't do that with the peppers anyway so it's a sample pack uh, these these people I specifically I will definitely go to the strike four with them I mean it's 99 cent sample you can't beat that guys and and even if I had to reorder them I mean that's three varieties of peppers for three dollars I mean, how much money did I spend on Seed Man to get three varieties? Nine dollars? <laughs> More? <laughs> so, what are you going to do? That's, that's life, alright? Yeah, you're gonna, it's going to happen with uh, companies from time to time. So, uh, I can't say I won't order from them again. I'll give them another try. They're only 99 cents. Give them a whirl. You see what happened. I probably won't order my habanero uh, lemon peppers. From them again, their seeds, I'll probably go to a more reputable company that actually dates the seeds. I don't believe there's any dates on here. Uh, actually, it says tested. Oh, no, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it says tested, 6-2015. And I ordered them. This is the actual date I made the order, so I actually got the seeds a little after this. So maybe mid-October I got them. So... Uh, these were tested only a few months early, and they, and they were DOA like that. Ah, I'll probably order them from somebody else. Because once you order the seeds, you go to peppers, you never really got to order them again. You know? I, I don't want to take the same chance, because how do I know I'm not going to get the same seeds? And then they're putting, oh, it was tested six months ago. No, I, I, DOA means I go to someone else. I want a different lot of seeds, and I want to guarantee that it's from a different lot and from a different batch of peppers that they got the seeds from. I don't want to take chances with possibly getting a, another lot of the same batch of seeds from a bin of seeds that, that may, they may be just sitting in there. Not doing it, guys, and I wouldn't recommend you do that either. If you get a batch of seeds from a company, I don't care what company it is, even if you're almost pay, only paying a dime for them, well, if, I mean, if you're paying a dime, you might as well order them again, but... I mean, your shipping's going to be $3, you know. But I would just say, if you want to just get the pepper and you had a bad experience like this and you want to replant that pepper, then you're probably better off just going to a reputable seed company like Baker Creek or Seed Savers and uh, order your seed from them. And, um, you know, just do a different lot from somebody else, you know, that dates their seed so you know you're going to get that seed sooner or later. You don't want to play games with this stuff because... Look at all the trouble and time I had to wait on nurturing each one of these seeds. Four times I had to plant them. Four times I had to go through all the nurturing and dedication and making sure they're watered. That's a lot of energy I have to put into something that's a waste of my time. I'd rather put that energy into cleaning bugs and insects and diseases on my other plants when I have to spend, a, even if it's five minutes on seeds that are dead, 
That's five minutes per, per variety of seeds, ten minutes. Checking and making sure they're watered and are there sprouts. And, you know, that's time every day or every other day that I got to check that to make sure they're good. Wasted out of my life that I can never recover on top of paying the money and losing the money on that. So we, we don't want, you don't want to do it twice, you know. Anyway, that's, uh, that's uh, Seeds Now, the Habanero Lemon. I don't know, guys. I'll buy it up. I'll buy habanero lemons again, but it ain't gonna happen from this company. So, I'm not saying I won't buy other seeds from this company. It's just I will not order these seeds again because I don't want to get stuck with the same dead seeds. All right. So the next runner-up. Oh man, this one's this one hurt, guys. I, I really wanted to grow this one. This is a cross by Pepper Lovers. You could even see they got the PL number. Uh, they named it a CGN. 20812. I really wanted to grow this pepper. I was really psyched on this one. I mean, I only paid two bucks too for it. It was a good seed. And uh, Pepper Lovers uh, obviously sent me seeds that were no good, unfortunately. And I was a little upset on that. And you're talking 30 seeds here, guys. That's a good price for two bucks. You can't really go complain about that. But out of 30 seeds, Four successive plantings, ten seeds at a shot. I got absolutely nothing out of them. They were dead right out of the package. Not even one plant. Not a good feeling, guys. This was one of the ones I really wanted to grow. I, I just I had my heart set on it. it was a it was a cross. I, I liked it. I wanted to taste it. I wanted to grow it. Ain't happening, guys. Unfortunately, with this particular pepper. I cannot go anywhere else. I have to go to Pepper Lovers to get those seeds. So that means I got to suck up another $2 to dump into their website to get those seeds if I decide to grow them again. I will probably not do that for a few years. Um, I will probably wait a year or two until they dump all the dead seeds and I can get a fresh batch of seeds. All right, so here's the, uh, here's the package. This was the envelope I got from them. Like I said, I did four successive planting in four different environmental conditions, ranging from semi-warm to hot, 100 degree temperatures and sun, everything. I've done everything I could under every circumstance where I had no problems with sprouting other peppers. These did not come up, guys. They were dead. All right, there's no date on the package. This is how they come. You don't know what they are. They don't tell you what year they were harvested. You don't know what you're getting for your money. But it's only two bucks, two bucks for dead seeds. So I'm not happy with what Pepper Lover does with their seeds because this is their result, nothing in the end. And at the same time, I'm kind of forced to have to go back to them and buy seeds. Now, I did have an experience where they sent me wrong. They, I ordered five seeds or something, six packs of seeds, six different varieties of peppers. When I went to the website, they, they were all in stock. The ones that were out of stock, I didn't waste my time with. But the ones that were in stock, I said, oh, great. They're in stock. I'll order them. I ordered them, ordered them, ordered them, right? Five or six packs of seeds. Two of the varieties or three of the varieties suddenly were out of stock. They filled other people's orders or they didn't update the website quick enough when I was placing my order. And they were out of stock all of a sudden without my knowledge. So you know what they did? They went and replaced those. They substituted those seeds with other seeds that I already had, guys. I didn't need those seeds that they sent me and they substituted with. So instead of emailing me back and saying, we don't have these three varieties of seeds that you ordered. It was out of stock. Sorry, we should have updated our website. Uh, would you like to replace those seeds with something else? Or would you like your money returned? They didn't do that. They just substitute the seeds that you order from them. If they're suddenly out of stock because you don't know, they're going to give you whatever they got in stock. And I'll tell you what, they're probably giving you stuff that's not selling or they're probably giving you the old seeds. So keep that in mind when you order from pepperlovers.com. You don't know what, like I said in some of my earlier videos, I'm afraid to order from them because I don't know if they're going to substitute my seeds with stuff I don't need. I mean, I got 100 varieties already. I don't need... A hundred of the same thing over and over, guys. You know, we're, we're trying to progress here. This is not progress when you're sending me the same thing over and over, right? So, anyway, this was a dead one, guys. I was absolutely upset when this one didn't come through. Um, 
I just feel empty. Like I just, uh, this is the biggest fail for me, you know. I probably should have did the gabrielic acid, but I figured after the fourth time I was planting and I didn't get nothing, I figured at that point those seeds are something damaged, what something damaged them. All right, and I pretty much planted those seeds straight out the gate, mid-January, under lights, heat mats, the whole nine had it going on. All the other seeds were sprouting, and these did not come up, guys. These were dead on arrival. All right, so uh, that's a strike as far as I'm concerned for pepperlovers.com. I'm not happy with that, and uh, I don't know if I will grow this one again. I don't know, guys. If I get some requests to do it, maybe I'll do it, but... All right, let's see what the next one is. Ah, another pepperlovers.com fail. All right, this is the goat pepper, guys. This was another one of those species that I really wanted to do. I have a lot of passion for wild peppers. Um, I really wanted to... Uh, you can see it's a very different type of name on the bottom here. All right, it's a uh, capsaicin... Oh my God, it's some kind of missium, miss I can't even pronounce it. But that was one of the species uh, that I kind of needed so I can start developing my own crosses. And uh, this is one of the species you need to be able to develop crosses. And uh, unfortunately, what they sent me is DOA, guys. So I wasn't happy. I, and look at what I paid for them, $3, right? I paid $3 for the seeds. They said 25 seeds. I don't know if I got 25 seeds out of it. Here's the seed pack, guys. No date. Nothing stated. It's just thrown in the bag. Thrown in the bag. Nothing. All right? So I probably won't be buying seeds, the goat pepper seeds from Pepper Lovers. I will try to acquire them other ways. So unfortunately, they'll be losing business from me. Um... And hopefully if you read this, if you watch these videos, you won't be ordering seeds from them for the next year at least because you're probably going to get the same dead garbage that I got. There's no dating. There's no control methods to know what you're getting. You know, this is a very difficult type of a pepper to, to grow and sprout. But if you don't even get one sprout out of them, guys, come on. 25 seeds, you got to get at least one sprout. Nothing. Come on, I'm growing Pequins. Pequins, you know, you guys realize how difficult it is to grow a Pequin? It took me a year just to get one sprout out of one of my Pequins. A year. And I finally got it in the greenhouse. Finally growing after three or four or five plantings. I finally got one coming up. Pequins are very, very difficult to sprout. If you can start a Pequin and grow it, this shouldn't be that much more difficult. It is a wild pepper, yes. But I should have had at least one sprout out of 25 seeds for $3.00. Sorry, guys, I'm not digging that too much. So that's another fail by pepperlovers.com. That's the goat pepper right there. Now let's go to the next runner-up of fails. The Giant Aconcagua. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Oh, man. Seed Man. Ah, oh, another fail by Seed Man, guys. This is too many. There's too many... For this to just be coincidence. There's too many of these in one shot. I didn't even order that many seeds from Seed Man. I ordered one package. And these were all ordered in the same package. So, you know, I didn't just order peppers. I ordered melons and other things. So, God knows, those seeds are probably all dead, too. I don't <laughs> I don't even know if I, I'd just throw a finer seed packs and throw them in the garbage at this point. Because everything I'm getting here is a high fatality rate with their seeds. Alright, so this is Seed Man again. DOA, you can see there's no seeds left in it. Not happy, guys. Not happy with that one. Uh, I paid two fifteen for the seeds. You get what you pay for, right? You get what you pay for. Giant kind of goo up by them is DOA, guys. And you want to know what? Only fifteen seeds for two fifteen. Even seeds now, if they stock those seeds, is a better deal than that because you get them for ninety nine cents. And you get 10 seeds. And that's all you need is one plant. As long as the seeds are viable, you just need one plant. And then you can save seeds every year. And then regrow that same pepper that's climatized to your climate. And you'll do fantastic. So this is like, what, strike four, strike five for uh, uh, Seed Man or something? I don't even know. It, it, they're over the top. 
I will probably never order seeds from this company again. I am very displeased with um, with this company. I also wanted to make a note too for this video, without making it too long. But I wanted to make a note uh, with the seed man. He makes you sign, uh, or you know, some kind of an electric thing you have to click. There's like a big agreement. You have to approve this agreement. If you disagree with this, you'll cancel your order now and, and all of that. He makes you sign this big paper agreement. and He's the only seed company that ever made me do that. And I, I at the time, I was like, man, I don't know if I should buy these seeds. But I was like, eh, it's only $30 or $40 order, you know, which is actually quite a bit for seeds, guys. Uh, $30 or $40 order. I, come on, I'll just sign. I want my seeds. Come on, let's get this order going. I already made my sheet. I want to get going already. So I clicked it and went through, but I remember the uh, the agreement was something very binding agreement. You have to approve this. We're not guaranteeing the germination rate or something. We're not guaranteeing this and we're not that and we're not responsible to see all this stuff about their seats. I remember saying after I did that, I like I think in my head I'm like maybe I shouldn't have done that. Nah, don't worry about their seeds. I get seeds to grow. Nah. High fatality rate, guys. Be very careful ordering from this company. I, I honestly at this point right now uh, the high fatality rate from them I probably won't recommend ordering seeds from them I also ordered peanuts from them and a few other you know varieties of seeds I know that the peanuts were DOA guys they did not send me the peanuts in the shell they peel the shell and they send you the peanut outside the shell what does a peanut do guys when you take it outside the shell Tell me what a peanut does when you crack the shell open on a peanut and you take it out. What does it do? They split in half, guys. Half peanuts don't grow. I don't know if you know that, but half peanuts do not grow. Half of that bag, those peanuts split in half and fell apart on me, guys. They were all dead. I got nothing out of those peanuts. So, uh, that's just one of them, and then there's some other seeds we're going to have to check just to see what the fatality rate of their seeds are. Again, this is one company I will probably never order from again, personally. Um, very high fatality rate, very low germination rate, very poor quality in uh, the seeds. Yeah, they give you a nice little envelope, that's all good, but there's, there's no date, right? Is there a date on this? There's not a date on the package, guys. There's a reason for that. There's a reason why they make you sign that waiver and that paper and all that stuff when you order your seeds. There's a reason, guys. Don't order your seeds from them. Get your seeds from a reputable company and don't order from companies like this. You will surely regret it like I am. All right, so that's the end of my fail review. Hopefully you uh, like this video. If you like it, thumb it up. If you don't like it, thumb it down. If you want to subscribe, subscribe, share, like. Do all the good stuff, guys. I can use the help. And uh, I'll bring you more reviews coming up as uh, time goes on. We'll see what else we can get. So take care, guys. See you on the next one.